Infectious diseases are becoming more prevalent in the daily activities of all EMS providers. Nowadays, you need to treat every scene that has a potentially infectious patient as a biological hazmat. To avoid contamination from infectious fluids and airborne particles, you should wear PPE, personal protective equipment, decon equipment and surfaces, and frequently wash your hands. PPE includes fit-tested masks, such as N95 and N100 masks, eye protection, such as glasses, face shields and goggles, gowns, or suits and gloves. You must wear full PPE with any patient who is potentially infectious, especially those with a history of a fever and cough. Put on your PPE before you enter the patient area. If you encounter an unexpected infectious situation, back out, don PPE, and then proceed. To remember the sequence of donning PPE, think M-E-G-G, -G, mask, eyes, gown, gloves. The first step in donning PPE is to put on your mask. Use a fit tested mask when the patient has a potentially infectious disease or the patient has a history of cough and fever, or is a known carrier of an airborne disease. First, open mask fully. Next, place the mask on the bridge of your nose and hold it with your index finger. Use your thumb and index finger to shape the flexible nose piece. Place the top strap over your head above your ears. Pull the lower strap below your ears. Use both hands to shape the flexible nose piece so that there is a good seal against your nose and face. Last, check the seal by blowing air in and out and feeling for escaping air. Make any adjustments to improve the seal. Place a mask on all patients with a cough or respiratory infection to contain the infectious agent. Do not use a mask with an exhalation valve on the patient. Eye protection is next. Wrap around safety glasses Goggles or face shields will protect your eyes and the mucous membranes around them from accidental splashes. Next, put on your gown. Start by placing your arms in the gown. Secure the neck and waist. If the straps are long enough, you may be able to tie it in the front. You may need to tie the straps in the back. Gloves are last. Be sure to pull the gloves up and over the sleeves of your gown. The key points in donning PPE are, always don your PPE in the same order, mask, eyes, gown, gloves. Think M-E-G-G, -G, and make sure you have a good seal with the mask to your face. Once you have completed the call and left the area that the infectious patient was in, you should remove your PPE. Don't contaminate yourself taking it off. Just reverse the order that you put it on. Gloves, gown, eyes, and mask. Start removing your PPE by removing your gloves. First, pull off the first glove, leaving it inside out. Hold the removed glove in the palm of your gloved hand. Pinch, pull, and roll the second glove over the first, wrapping the first glove inside the second. Both gloves are now turned inside out. Discard the gloves. Next, remove your gown by reaching around and untying or breaking the tie. Grasp the clean cuff and pull your hand inside the sleeve. Do the same on the other side. Pull your arms out while turning the gown inside out. Discard the gown. Next, clean your hands with an alcohol-based waterless hand cleaner.
Rub all over your hands for 20 seconds, then let air dry. Remove eye protection from the back and decon them later along with your equipment unless they are disposable. The next step is to remove the mask. Grab the straps at the back of your head, starting with the bottom strap, and pull it over your head. Then remove the top strap. While removing the top strap, pull the mask away from your face while keeping your eyes and mouth closed, and discard. Dispose of gloves, gowns, and masks as contaminated waste. Finally, once all your PPE has been removed, Clean your hands a final time for at least 20 seconds with a waterless hand cleaner. The key points in doffing PPE are, turn your gloves and gowns inside out as you remove them to avoid cross-contamination. Wash your hands before placing them near your face. Wash your hands again after removing your eye protection and mask. Washing your hands is the single most effective way to prevent the spread of any disease. Wash your hands with soap and water or waterless alcohol gel hand cleaner after any patient contact, even if you wore gloves. You should also wash your hands before eating, drinking or smoking, before cooking or handling food, after using the restroom, after touching any apparatus or equipment. Finally, you should wash your hands before entering station offices and quarters. Remember to treat every scene with a potentially infectious patient as a biological hazmat. The patient area is the hot zone. The scene area and the apparatus base are the warm zones. Station living areas and offices are cold zones. Decon and wash hands appropriately between zones. After each call to an infectious patient, you will need to decon everything you touched. Include all equipment that was exposed or cross-contaminated, such as the outside of kits, stethoscopes, radios, AEDs, etc. If you transport, include the inside of your rig, steering wheels, door handles, radio handset, headsets, and gurneys. On scene or at the hospital, wipe down equipment before putting it back in service. Do a more thorough decon at the station as needed or directed by department policy. Wear new gloves while decontaminating equipment. Wear clean eye protection and a mask if there is a splash risk or vapors.